Hello, my name is Raido Boost, and in this video I will demonstrate how to export your InfraWorks 360 bridge to Autodesk Scrabbit. You can start with your preliminary project in InfraWorks 360, and once you have developed some concept design, you can then continue with detailed design in some specific other design package. Before you can export a bridge to Autodesk Scrabbit, of course you need to have it first, and I have carried out on a real environment, one simple bridge design. To start actual export process, you have to pick your bridge and as you see it is built parametrically and you can change quite a lot of things including number of gears and so on. But our current focus is to export it to Autodesk Revit. Before I do that, I can show you that if you start building your preliminary bridge, you can at any time calculate quantities of materials. My bridge type is currently steel plate and if I do a right click on my bridge I can pick quantities and it shows me some preliminary quantities. It's good to have it in that form because you can then easily compare different preliminary design projects. And it's also important to note that when we export our bridge to Autodesk Revit we can do the similar quantity study and actually that information should match with each other. Meaning that in InfraWorks I can see the same amount as in Revit. Of course before I start to rebuild or modify my bridge. So I close my quantities and do a right click again and now I pick send to Revit. I may get uh, notifications that uh, I have unsupported coordinate system so I click on open model properties and then pick a local coordinate system. Once I do that I apply and click OK and just do it again. Right click and send to Revit. Now the bridge will be sent to Autodesk Revit and actually it consists of different steps and we will see some information at what step we are in our flow. As you see right now Revit families are built and depending on project or bridge size sometimes it's quicker sometimes it takes a little bit more. Some other Revit families are created. Also this step is finished. Now we should see that Autodesk Revit will be opened and depending on which version you have you may see a notification that now the export needs to be upgraded because actually I have both Revit 2016 and 2017 installed but as I have used 2017 lately the export recognizes it that I have also 2017 and because of the export by itself is in 2016 format I need to upgrade the model so I click on upgrade the model and this process is quite standard as we have seen with different Autodesk Revit models model upgrade screen and obviously you will save the model in new version if it has successfully converted. Once you are in a Autodesk Revit package and your bridge project has been converted and opened you can continue with usual Revit workflows for example you can see your model in 3D just clicking in 3D fuse category analytical model it may happen that you don't see because of the type of the view your model itself so you need to tune up your visibility graphic overrides currently I have to include show model categories in this view apply and OK and now I can see my bridge model in full glory once you have your model you can then start to do a detailed design but you can also use Revit quantification tools to see the same quantities as in InfraWorks. So I right click schedule quantities, new schedule quantities. I use a category as generic models, clicking OK. I include some fields like volume and maybe also type. I rearrange those. I hit OK and I should already see some quantities. And those quantities are actually the same as in InfraWorks. You may see some empty rows so it's easy to use some filtering and sorting grouping so I don't want to use itemize I use grand totals and using also sort by type and then click OK. Now I can see my final quantification table 
and those values are actually the same as in InfraWorks 360. And once you have finished your design in here, you can then export your Revit model pack to InfraWorks for visualization and context purposes. If I go to Manage tab and pick coordinates and specify coordinates at point, I can check my coordinate values north south and east west. So happy testing with InfraWorks and Autodesk Revit new workflows.